Ladies and gents, welcome back. I know I don't often talk about entertainment, but I used to be a fan of Disney, and this is the thing that I love to take my kids to, Disneyland. Every time we visited Tokyo, we would go to Tokyo Disneyland. But as of late, woke ideology has been getting into everything. And well, Disney has been at the forefront of pushing an ideology onto little kids. And well, I've, I've taken it upon myself to say no more. This is the end of it. But Disney is finally starting to see some backlash. They're losing market share in a large way. And well, there's a big backlash because of a new movie that's been introduced. And the cast, uh, well, let's say don't even like the original tailing of Snow White. Now, uh, the Babylon Bee has come out with this funny headline saying, Disney to remove problematic kiss from classic movie, Snow White will now remain dead. <laughs> That'll be the story of Snow White. She's just going to be dead forever because of wokeism. Now, this is obviously a joke, but this here is Rachel Zegler. She admits that she doesn't like Snow... She didn't like it growing up. She wasn't even a fan of the movie. There are millions of actresses out there, I'm sure, that would be ecstatic to play the role of Snow White and well she was given the role for what reason we don't know yet uh, but it seems that she's definitely on the woke side of things now Snow White people would argue why isn't it being cast by a white person um, obviously she's uh, Lat Latina uh, some might say Latin X but I know a lot of Latino people that don't don't get along with that whole idea but the whole idea of Snow White her name is Snow White because written in the story was a description of her complexion. She was white as snow, lips as red as blood, and yada yada, the whole story goes. But nonetheless, Disney decided to cast this woman as the part. Now, Rachel Zegler is is <laughs> committing to the fact that she, well, didn't even like the story. I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. Like, I'm being so serious. I watched it once and then I went on the ride in Disney World, which was called Snow White Scary Adventures. Doesn't sound like something a little kid would like. Was terrified of it. Never revisited Snow White again. So I watched it for the first time in probably 16, 17 years when I was doing this film. I I was just, just to play the role. She watched a movie she didn't even like. Goodness, this is just unbelievable. But this is just, again, another another adage to the, the whole utility belt of what the woke is all about in this, in this world. Now, here she is in another interview just disparaging the whole story. And this is a beloved story to millions of people around the world. And this is what she had to say about it. I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> um, there is a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. <laughs> so, no, so no prince or a different kind of prince? We have a different approach to what I'm sure a lot of people will assume is a love story just because, like, we cast a guy in the movie, right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. Yeah. Um, it yeah, men and women love each other. This is just not, it's, it's an age old tale. Uh, just because a guy, uh, anyway, go on. It's, uh, it's one of those things that I think everyone's going to have their assumptions about what it's actually going to be, but uh, it's really not about the love story at all, which is really, really wonderful. And whether or not she finds love along the way is anybody's guess until 2024. Um, all of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. It's Hollywood, baby. Let's remember that line. It's Hollywood, baby. Uh, could get cut. All of his scenes might get cut. You know, the uh, the man who's the Prince Charming in the story. But of course, you know, this is the Babylon Bee. It's, it's funny because they end up becoming more of a, a, a prophecy <laughs> news agency instead of uh, just satirical news. But yeah, the problematic kiss from the movie, Snow White will now remain dead. <laughs> now, comedians uh, all over the place are coming out ripping on this because it's funny this is ben bankus giving his his own take on her her uh coming out and saying uh what she said it's me rachel siegler the new snow white and i want to address some things okay first of all stop being weird 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 why is everybody so weird i don't 
don't like the movie that I have been cast in and that I'm getting millions of dollars for. Isn't that weird? It's kind of weird. Weird. <laughs> it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird that she's going to get all that money and not uh, really even want to be in the film. Now, she came out and, you know, after all of the backlash because of this, came out and tried to do, uh, is this an apology? I don't know. You be the judge on if context. this is an apology. <laughs> Video is going to get taken out of context, and I know that at this point I can't really stop people from doing that because I don't think I'm that's what my whole existence on the internet is, is oh. just me being taken out of context. And She's a victim. She's just a victim of this whole thing. Don't you don't you understand? It's it's hard to be an actress with a multi-million dollar contract to play a, the part of a beloved character uh, in a motion picture stuff, uh, which is fine. That's what I signed up for, isn't it? Um, but I never wanted to come off as me being ungrateful for the opportunities I have when I say that this Didn't has been that. the biggest adjustment of my life, like understanding the way my life operates now, being who I am and the things that I've been so fortunate to make. It comes with so much ground, so much ground that I never thought I would be able to cover and that people think I'm doing poorly. And other people think I'm doing gracefully and I don't think I'm doing it at all. <laughs> so when I tell you that it's hard, I just mean to be inside my brain. <laughs> That's hard. Yeah, it probably is hard to be inside. And I'm that. there 24-7. I can't I can't get out of it. And and I, I don't know if that will make sense, but that's where I'm at. I'm so grateful for the things that I'm able to do. And a lot of what I'm able to do is because of you guys. And I'm so unbelievably thankful for that. At the end of the day, I look at this trip and think if somewhere like that can exist, and so can my tiny pink bedroom from New Jersey, I can also be having the greatest time and simultaneously wishing people would stop sending me death threats. And maybe that's a weird takeaway for this video. This is a life. This is real. It's filled with a lot of beautiful moments and beautiful people. I have a loving family, an incredible boyfriend that I love so much. And a terrible opinion. <laughs> and here's the thing. People don't care about that stuff. They they care about what you're doing. They care about your actions. They don't care about what you're what you're saying here. Now, uh, your actions have been, of course, in disparaging towards, you know, a character that people love that you've been cast to play. And this is where it really comes down to. Even the fans are just like they've had it. They've had it. People is not is not the usual red pillars. It's it's just your average people that are just done with this now. I don't think I've ever seen such a condescending, smug Disney princess ever in my life. I don't even know what movies she has been in to get her to have this Disney role. It's just every single interview that I have seen her do for this movie is just so, so smug and so condescending to a point where like, is she supposed to be like, I don't know, uplifting us as women? Because it sounds fucking terrible and I don't want to be included in that part of womanhood. If this is the way Disney is trying to get women into watching their films, I don't think they're doing it right. Because she made us sound like women only matter if they are hateful of love, hateful of any kind of romance, and we only exist to thrive. Yeah, that's it. So the the actual story and the reason why a lot of children love the story is because it's a good story originally. You don't have to change it and you don't have to exploit it for some woke BS. Now, of course, Matt Walsh jumping in on this and giving his opinion on the tape on this whole thing. Snow White is a 19th century German fairy tale. The name Snow White literally refers to the character's skin color. She is supposed to be white as snow. This is a defining feature of the character. It's not as though Disney went searching for the new Snow White and they discovered that Rachel Zegler was so compelling, such a talented and powerful actress that they felt they had no choice but to cast her in the role. Like they had to make an exception because she's just so good. That's not what happened. No, they specifically set out to strip this character of her whiteness to make the character not white. 
This is appropriation. It is anti-white racism. Yes, it is racist to make Snow White not white because they are treating the whiteness of the character as a flaw that needs to be fixed. Snow White. Now, whether that's the case or not, we're seeing this a lot in other things, not just when it comes to uh, whiteness or what have you. We've seen in, in recent times, here's a story about uh, Peter Dinklage just put seven of us out of a job. And this has to do with the same movie. Now, Peter Dinklage was famous for his role in Game of Thrones. He was, of course, the actor who has dwarfism, uh, who played the character in in uh, in Game of Thrones. I, I'm not a big fan of Game of Thrones, but he played the role of Tyrion Lannister. Uh, <laughs> now, in this story here, he's putting seven seven people with dwarfism out of work because he made some uh, nonsense uh, uh, things. Dwarf actors fury at Disney for canceling Seven Dwarfs from Snow White rem remake because the woke multi-millionaire Game of Thrones stars said they would be offensive. It would be offensive if dwarves played dwarfs. <laughs> of course, he made millions and millions of dollars playing a dwarf on TV. He even played the dwarf uh, in uh, the Avengers. He played a famous dwarf that made uh, the, the axe or made Mjolnir or whatever <laughs> hammer that Thor uh, wielded. But no, he's, uh, he's definitely pulling up the ladder on this one. And even Pierce Morgan chimed in on this because it just got ridiculous. Oops. Play gay parts. Only Welsh actors of Michael Sheen should play Welsh characters. And so on and so on I and so on. A new one. But the moment we have dwarf roles, which are the most famous dwarf roles in Hollywood history, then the only people apparently who can't play them are dwarf it actors. Dwarf and roles. I see there it's a cartoon stinking here. So me, hypocrisy. Hey, it has it was not. a cartoon. Those weren't actually dwarfs in the movie. They were drawn, okay? So firstly... They were drawn as dwarfs. No, that is... But it's a story called dwarfs. Well, they shouldn't, be called that. they shouldn't be called dwarfs. They shouldn't be called... They shouldn't be called dwarfs. No, they should be called people with dwarfs. They shouldn't be called... What's wrong with being they called dwarfs? Be called... <laughs> Snow White and the seven people of dwarfism? Like, what are we doing here? Uh, story! Dylan, the apparently story you should, you're not allowed Snow to call yourself dwarfs. I would love to hear, what should I call myself, sir? I think you should call yourself whatever you feel comfortable with, but as a person... He calls himself a dwarf. A dwarf. That's great. A dwarf. If dwarf actors in Hollywood are not picked to play those roles I don't know what roles you're supposed to be playing only get it's getting so ridiculous anymore we're at the point where I think Dwayne the Rock Johnson was criticized for playing an amputee in a movie <laughs> because he's not actually an amputee these are ridiculous things that come only with wokeism. So it's not just about uh, white actors being played in these other ways, but other people just being denied roles arbitrarily because of woke BS across the board. But anyway, leave a comment in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think of this whole thing. Let me know what you think about me covering uh, entertainment and stuff like this, because I, I, I do have a vested interest. My daughter is really, she really likes princesses and things like that. And we've, we used to go to Disney. She used to buy the dresses. We used to be consumers of these items because my kids love them. But instead, we've you know introduced our kids to other things, namely namely Japanese uh, animation. My kids are bilingual, so they love watching Japanese stuff because it isn't quite so woke as the stuff that's coming from North American out outfits and studios. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this whole thing and where we stand with woke culture in our entertainment entertainment and where you, where you are are you boycotting any of these companies let me know in the comments and we'll see you in the next one keep on trucking